Well, all our errands are done at this point in the game, so there's nothing left to do but to enter dungeon number three, Jabu Jabu's Belly. So first I'm gonna need, I'm gonna use the Deku Shield for this because there are lots of Octoroks in there, it's generally more useful, there's no fire at all there, so I don't need to worry at all. So, use the fish and that's the fish is for, and we all know how it ends up, Jabu Jabu says, Oh my god, 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 a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish, a fish! And yeah, we both get eaten, but don't worry, we're not stuck inside. I can leave by running into his teeth for some reason. And after that, I don't need to do all that shit with the fish again to get back in. He just opens his mouth as thanks for, um... As thanks for me feeding him, I guess. So, we start out with two Octoroks. No! No! Stop shooting each other's popcorn or whatever. It really does look like popcorn, though. And next we got Bubbles, the most threatening enemy ever! Seriously, Bubbles? You're losing your touch, Ganondorf. But seriously, those things are actually sort of annoying because the Butter Knife has such freakishly low reach. And you shoot the uvula to unlock the door, and by the way, I'm just gonna put bombs back on, it's better than an empty bottle. Yeah, they put uh, the uvula in there, but from this point on, uh, anatomical correctness has officially gone out the window, because I don't know about you, but I don't think this is how a fish works. But uh, I guess this room would be his stomach, I have no idea, and here's Princess Rudo, so... Time to have a little chat. She is obviously not very happy to see us here. And um, there's a whole lot of bullshit going on here. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna try and cover it as best as I can. But uh, yeah, basically she says she didn't write that letter in a bottle. Either she's lying or that means Ganondorf writes like, like a little girl because King Zora recognized Ruto's handwriting even before he started reading the letter. So, yeah, what the hell, game? And yeah, she fell into, well, I wouldn't say an invisible hole. It's the kind of stuff that you usually don't want to step on, but uh, have no choice but to follow her down here. And yeah, she really, really doesn't care. She came here from her, her own free will because... Uh, Okay, yeah, that's another thing. She's go She's been going inside Jabu Jabu's belly since she was little, but King Zoro was all like, Oh no! King Lord Jabu Jabu would never ever do that to Princess Rudo! And not only that, but it, ah, it happens all the time, so... Yeah, King Zoro is such a model father! But, uh, yeah... If you pester her enough, she's going to allow you to carry her, which is going to be required in some part of this dungeon, so you can't really progress uh, without her. And yeah, bubbles. You, you can kill those bubbles by throwing Princess Rudo at them, but ah, oh, come on! I was trying to go for the other bubble, but the other, me, the other one ambushed me. At least it's only half a, a, a quarter of a heart. Yeah, I would have been surprised if a bubble of all things could do any more damage than that. Which it actually does in uh, the 3DS Master Quest, but let's not get into that. This is the N64 regular quest. You go down there, and there are those ray things that um, you have to shoot twice with your slingshot. But first you gotta step on them to activate them. Shoot them, and after... Ah! Freaking bubbles! I'm getting my ass handed to me by freaking bubbles! God! Okay, so let's shoot this thing. There's another one there. It's not necessary to kill them all, but it's strongly recommended because there are a few things to do in this dungeon. And by the way, yeah, if you, uh, if you slash or shoot at the walls in this dungeon, there's gonna be some, uh, green blood or something coming out. Yeah, green blood, the bane of every Zelda fanboy ever. But uh, I'm not gonna get into how stupid those gripes are, just yet at least. Oh uh, yeah, kill that gold sculpture, and now I need to raise the water level in order to be able to access the vines, because as you saw, I tried climbing on them, but Link is not quite tall enough yet. And there's an alcove there, which, as I remember, yep, there's a fairy in there. 
So let's grab a bottle. There are two empty ones, so I have the choice. There we go. Not the most action-packed dungeon, especially when one of the main enemies here is Bubbles, of all things! And, oh, Deku Seeds, sweet. I needed some after using them on those raid things. Now I want to try and get down to the ledge where Princess Rudo is right away. There we go. So I won't need to raise the water level just to get back over there, where it, wait for it to go back down, and do this. So, jump on the switch, and... Um, Go over to where Princess Rudo is, and yeah, I see more bubbles! Can't wait to get the boomerang. Yeah, this dungeon's treasure is the boomerang. Then again, oh well, if you if, if you want to go over there, uh, that's no problem. I'm just gonna let you... I don't even have the time to draw Princess Rudo! Anyway, watch this. You can throw her at the switch, and it'll activate it. Normally, you're supposed to use a Deku Seed or the boomerang, but, uh, Princess Rudo works, too. And I think that's actually pretty fun. How you can use Princess Rudo to kill those bubbles and activate switches in the air and stuff. Yeah! Okay, so, Octorok... Uh, nope. Missed. Okay, this one's gonna hit. Now there's supposed to be a platform coming down here, but I'm just going to head over there, see what's in there. Here another Octorok, possibly. Nope, it's a business scrub, so there's absolutely nothing interesting there. I don't know what this business scrub sells, nor do I want to know, because I'm going to cover it whenever uh, they sell you something important, like pieces of heart and upgrades. And this one, I can assure you, does not sell anything like that. The only interesting stuff in there is, well, other than, of course, the boomerang, the dungeon map, and the compass, there's four gold sculptulas, but that's it. No pieces of heart, no nothing. In fact, I, um, I'm, I'm not, I was about to say something, but I am, I'm not, because it could be a lie, I could be forgetting about something. I was about to say there is no, uh, piece of heart in this dungeon, or maybe I'm thinking of Wind Waker, where there's one in the Forsaken Fortress. But uh, anyway, now we're back in this room, and now we can uh, move on to the next area of this dungeon, which is like a really long hallway that has a, like a bajillion doors. There are two of them we can access right now. I think there's the one all the way over there. Now this pre this switch here, uh, whenever you leave it, it, it's gonna reactivate, so you need to use Princess Rudo as a weight to weigh the button down, and she's not very happy, and this was not the right room. I apologize for wasting your time like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, she really, she really hates me for that, but come on, we're trying to find what you're looking for, which, spoilers, is the spiritual stone. Yeah, we're both looking for the same thing, but, yeah, it'll work out. Let's just... Ah! Well, okay, at least I got a rupee out of the deal, but still hate getting hit. And, okay, so this is the other one that... Oh, yeah, I love this. Uh, you need uh, the weight of two people in order to press the switch, but uh, just as Navi says that the switch goes down, yeah, that was completely useless. I imagine uh, the message was there for if you tried to jump on it with uh, only Link. But, yeah, there are more of these... Uh, more of these things here, so shoot, shoot again. Hardly a thrilling, hardly a thrilling part. I must admit, it's not really the best. Uh, oh yeah, I, I love it when that happens, when you shoot, uh, when you shoot the walls in certain rooms, the entire room shakes. Pretty cool, actually, just like that. It's sort of, uh, sort of gruesome, though, when you stop and pay attention to it, like you're in the innards of that giant fish, which, by the way, is a lot bigger on the inside than on the outside. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm inside Jabu Jabu, not freaking Sin! But, yeah, anyway, uh, this seemingly boring fight actually yields something that is far more interesting, and that is... Boomerang back fuck! Yes, folks! We finally got the boomerang! This is 
more or less a replacement for the slingshot. Not a complete replacement, because the slingshot can do things the boomerang can't, especially in terms of range, but otherwise, we're not going to need the slingshot all that much anymore, since we can use the boomerang an unlimited amount of time. Sort of sad that it's, um, that it comes, uh... So close to the end of our quest as Young Link, though, but we'll be coming back uh, to Young Link a few times uh, throughout this LP, and the, and the boomerang is going to come in most handy when that happens. So let's enter this room again. Now that I have the boomerang, I can deal with this tentacle thing. What you want to do, you want to shoot it, you, you want to stay close to it so that you're in range, and also because it comes down when you come near. But, yeah, you have to be close, but you have to be really quick, otherwise it's going to tentacle rape you! Yeah, just as I was saying it, I get hit by the tentacle. That uh, was not planned, by the way, that was definitely not planned. Anyway, this has got to be the dungeon map, because I can't figure this giving something that's essential to uh, the, the dungeon's progress, because just the tentacle being annihilated itself, as we're going to see, is going to allow us to move on. Yeah, that was the dungeon map. It's always cool, I guess, but uh, this dungeon isn't really very complicated, as is the case for all uh, the Young Link dungeons. And yeah, she's pissed off again, and... Oh, come on! Pick her up! The annoying thing about this part... Oh, uh, and uh, Navi points out that the, the red, the slimy thing is gone because we re beat the red... Tail! Yeah, whatever works. It's a tentacle. You know it, I know it, we all know it. Anyway, in this room, we got 40 seconds to beat all those bubbles. But, we got the boomerang now, so shouldn't be that much of a problem. Because we don't have to uh, go mano a mano with the... Uh, with these, since I don't have to deal with the... with the butter knife lousy range anymore. Yeah, now that's what we we're talking about. The boomerang. I love the boomerang in this game. In fact, I love the boomerang in pretty much all Zeldas. Well, except maybe for the one in, in Twilight Princess. That one was a bit on the useless side, but otherwise... What? There's still one more? Really? Okay, it's there. Can I do it in time? Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. And okay, there, there are more hearts over there. I'm gonna try and grab those uh, Deku Seeds first, since they're right in the way, but can I get... No, I can't get those hearts. Such a shame, because I wanted to heal. And so far, this dungeon's been pretty stingy with the hearts. Uh, not nearly as bad as uh, Snow Peak Ruins in Twilight Princess, which is designed so that not a single heart will drop. But whatever. Now let's get out of here. And uh, I guess we can also uh, head into another room, since uh, that one just gave us the compass. And, no, oh, I just want to take a look. No, this isn't the right room, so I guess this is the one that's right over there. But yeah, as I was about to say, the annoying thing about this room is that, as you probably noticed, the floor moves. So that means that trying to grab something there is a total pain. Anyway, this is the same thing as before, except uh, this tentacle is blue instead of red, though it still has a big reddish tint, but it's just, you know, meant to be blue. The red was just there for, you know, the gruesome uh, organic aspect of it, I guess, since we're inside a giant fish. And now that means that since we beat that tentacle, we can move on to the room that was previously blocked by... Uh, was it another part of the tentacle or whatever? Doesn't really matter either way because this is this is one screwed up fish. Uh, I mean, as as I said, it's not anatomically correct at all. And yeah, we got jellyfishes which can only be beaten with the boomerang. By the way, anything else will end in lots of pain. And wow, I actually noticed that. Um, those two guys were getting dangerously close. Oh, healing, healing! All right, all right. But, uh, yeah, they, they were getting dangerously close, even though they were all the way at the back when I first entered. So I beat the red tentacle, which means that now we can actually exit this area and go back to, you know, the room with all the holes. I think we can... That, functionally, they're holes, even though they don't really look like it. I'm going to show you which one to fall down from, because there are a lot of them. It's not this one, it's the one after that. So, yeah! 
Alright, okay, thanks, bye. See you next time.